السلام علیکم خواتین آزاد نمشکار سسری اکار این اے ویری گڈ ایوننگ گڈ آفٹرنون گڈ مارننگ جب بھی آپ اس پروگرام کو دیکھ رہے ہیں چونکہ انٹرنیٹ کے حوالے سے یہ پروگرام کسی وقت بھی دیکھا جا سکتا ہے آئی اوویز وانٹیڈ ٹو ڈو این انٹرویو لائک دس اینڈ اٹس 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 اے پلیجر اٹس این آنر ٹو بی آن دس پلیٹ فارم اینڈ ٹو بی ود این آرٹسٹ دیر آئی ہیو نون فار مینی مینی ایئرس اینڈ ٹو ڈے اٹس کون بی این انٹرویو وے آئی ایم گن انٹرویو ہر شی از گن انٹرویو می I'm going to talk about many things that I haven't talked about in, in interviews that I've done across the world. But this artist actually knows me for many years, so I'm sure she's going to touch upon points which um, maybe only I know. So it's going to be an exclusive interview. So let's introduce this, this great artist that I've known and that I've collaborated with recently. Uh, she b- belongs to uh, um, a community which loves music and we love them, they love us. So why not, uh, let's talk to this artist who's here with me today, uh, Suzanne Ansar. Hello, Raja. <laughs> Hi, yeah. nice to meet you. <laughs> Namaskar, Sasriya Kaal, good evening. And what do you say in Bangla? Shubho Shondha, if it's good evening. Good evening. And Shubho, um, Shubho. Shubho. Yes. We say Salaam Alaikum in Bengali. Yeah. Huh. We actually say Salaam in Bengali. Mm-hmm. But it's lovely to be here. Um, again, it's lovely. It's always good working with you. Mm. So, yeah, when you actually asked me, would you like to um, do a show together where we can present each other? I thought, yeah, this would be quite interesting. The thing is that you have heard a story. I'm not going to do anything today. Mm-hmm. If I was to have a fight uh, in a boxing ring with Muhammad Ali, whatever he's going to do, he's going to do. I'm not going to do anything. Mm-hmm. So I think... I'm here, you're going to do everything, I'm just going to play along, <laughs> listen along and listen to some great music because we've got a harmonium here, we're going to talk about each other's work as well, uh, where bo- any of us started, where we started from. People know, but I think the points that both of us will touch on as artists will be, um, will be good. I remember when I used to do interviews of musicians and singers, I used to touch upon points which mm. they never would. Um, but anyway, you as a teacher, that's the first thing because you started off in... in uh, Um, a community that loves music. Yeah. That actually, I remember you saying that, you know, we used to get told off if we don't yeah, do music. Yeah, we did, yeah. Bengali families are very, um, uh, very cultured in terms of um, music and uh, literature and uh, the arts, basically, runs in every Bengali family, uh, well, um, majority of Bengali families, uh, similar to mine, uh, have the habit of uh, training the children musically and um, m- me myself um, I was always really interested in music as a child so my parents would be um, after homework I'd have to do my music homework and besides that the Arabic homework and the school homework and everything ha- housework and uh, music training so most children were forced into it but I loved it so you know I, ke- I continued well you love the shows because you're you're a established singer you're a presenter you're a you're an actress mashallah in uh, um, Not, not only the Bangladeshi circuit, but because of our collaboration that we're doing, I think Bollywood's going to pick up on something that we're doing together, inshallah. And it's just wonderful to be with an artist like you, because you follow music to... I, I've known a lot of artists that are actresses or actors, and they do music at the same time. But you do music in a very, very... Um, Urdu ka loves barik, so right. it's very, very minute. You go to the detail. Yes, see, I learned classical um, music from a very young age. I went to, um, my first teacher was um, um, Golok Mohan Chaudhary, who taught me the basics, from the uh, basic saragam to Mm. baby songs to um, different genre. Just opened it up to me. And then from the age of like 11, I went to Pandit Haridas Ganguly, a UK-based teacher from India. And I learned classical music. And this is during secondary school, I'd be performing. and singing and learning and performing at the same time. And as a teacher, which is what you just said earlier on, um, I started teaching probably when I was about 15, 15, 16. Whatever sure. I knew, I'd teach my friends and then people younger than me, and then, which then went on to me. Well, you had, a big, you had a big program, didn't you? Susan, Susan, Susan no, 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 that's, kids? Uh, I had a basic, I had basically had a school. The school. And okay. I'd had, um, I used to make productions for many different television channels and different kind of live shows and stuff. And, and I think the beauty is that both of us, We're both actually born and brought up here. That's I was going to actually pick up on that. I think um, I'm probably the only uh, UK-born uh, Bangladeshi um, commercial uh, known uh, singer. Yeah, back home. Yeah, well. and, and you're equivalent <coughs> in, the, in the Pakistani circuit. I think we're, we're, we're each other's counterparts, <laughs> yes. aren't we? So, yes. As I've noticed with you, when you speak in Urdu, a lot of people don't realize that you're actually born and brought up in this country. Because Urdu so good. And similarly with my Bangla, a lot of people don't actually realize that I am actually born and brought up here. You do a job, right? I ask you in Urdu, and you ask me in Bangla. I ask you in Bangla, and you ask me 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 in Bangla. 
मतलब मैं खूबसूरत लग रहा हूँ बात कर अच्छा अच्छा मैंने कहा शायद मेरी तारीफ हो द गुड थिंग इज़ खबीन आजाद के सुजाना जी एक्चुअली अंडरस्टैंड उर्दू एट अ गुड लेवल आई रिमेंबर वन बी डन द कॉन्सर्ट फॉर बोथ प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स पाकिस्तानी प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड द यू के प्राइम मिनिस्टर यू एक्चुअली संग अमेन हसन साहब ट्रैक रफ्तार रफ्तार विच आई सी आई लव म्यूजिशन आई लव सिंगर्स but i like to appreciate those musicians that go out of their way and sing something which is not their language Do you know what it is brilliant. this is a multicultural co- uh, con- country um especially london and um growing up here you would pick up all the languages as i'm sure you've picked up a lot of bengali words as well um all the languages so hindi especially with films and and my interest in ghazals and uh, classical music i picked up sanskrit and then urdu and hindi comes from that as does bengali for sure. me and um yeah the uh, the event that you talking about that we were both at which was the um David Cameron and the Pakistani Prime Minister um event that we yeah. were in um it was it was it was good because me knowing urdu um songs actually helped me otherwise i would have been stuck what do i perform here sure. let me think we well, we also going to touch upon all the um friends that you have in the industry the bollywood industry the bangladeshi industry the uk industry because you've worked with many many good artists many great artists i actually repeat this word i underline it you work with great artists um to um i would actually like meri taraf se now we're going to we're going to introduce each other's work i would like to show um the people watching this this uh, um this tv apex uh, um if show it's not an event i was going to say it was an event like in this show um your drama before i go to the singing because we're going to have some live singing we're going to talk about the collaboration lekin aapka ek drama hai jisme aap a graduate yeah you're playing a oh right yeah i well i've done a graduate or graduate it, it's um it's one of the it's the it's a it's the biggest hit of 2011 mm-hmm. uh, it's a bangladeshi commercial drama equivalent to our eastenders here oh. called the graduate um and i flew out for that i play a british girl and it's uh, is a comedy mm-hmm. so yeah um <laughs> go ahead to fir kaam kare na aap hi us camera ko khud bata de ki aap hame dekhe graduate bangla mein batae acha amar amar eta amar amar probably my third amar तृतीय नाटक ग्रेजुएट नाटक एक क्लिप देखें दिस इज आवर स्विमिंग पुल दिस स्विमिंग पुल एस्टाब्लिश नाटक को बोलेस I know that because that time my grandfather was very small boy as a chota chota asilo tahon chota asilo okay okay this is our swimming pool swimming pool na bolo it's a pond ha pond no 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 this is swimming pool because shatar kar to na ha kintu shono swimming pool er moddhe mach thake na ha gach thake na shobuj na swimming pool etake bole pond no this is this is our swimming pool bishesh yeah, karna tumhe rato na tumhe rato na ek je dekho 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 tum dekho ek dekho ek je ek je dekho ere ki ha ere ki swimming pool ha tumhe ek je swimming pool ha ha oh my god ere sapa kare na sapa kare ere ki ko it was so funny come back kara ek minute ek minute en to mala bani ek khane ha je So as you've seen just there it was uh, one of my dramas called The Graduate which we shot in Bangladesh um and um yeah that was a hit drama quite funny actually mai aapko ye batau ke you look mashallah very nice you look you, you got a nice look as well um as an actress but then when people are going to hear you sing and that's that's where the like oof actually one mashallah. of the dramas i did um graduate then i did something good 50 50 there's another one that i did we filmed in thailand well i've done i've been to thailand uh, bangladeshi dramas are shot in thailand, thailand a lot of them we travel a lot in nepal thailand india um one of them um uh oh goodness um why have i forgot the name but well, one of the dramas i did 50/50 uh, no no 50/50 with uh, with sarika chonchal choudhury um uh, we filmed in thailand and i played a girl who wants to be a singer okay so she walks around thailand she walks around thailand trying to sing but i had to sing terrible <laughs> on on purpose and that's hard to do and it was hard to do because <laughs> I, the song i'm singing i don't want to you know because da- it's such a good song well, that it would it. come you know I, that you could tell that she can sing but yeah now, see also you've performed around the world um there's one thing i've got to uh, appreciate um india pakistan has some brilliant production in in india pakistan even here there's some great production that's going on 
but sometimes I think television, this is why I talk about TV epics because I remember setting it up. Um, we, we worked on good technical um, equipment, lights has to be good. You actually come from a community which has probably one of the best studios that I've seen in the UK, best productions. Um, and it's great. How, about, do you feel, how do you feel about it? Um, I'm really very proud of the uh, Bangladesh community considering um, Im immigrants came over here, um, they made a way for themselves but the children have taken um, the best of what the UK had to sure. offer and they've actually uh, um, um, progressed from there. Um, it, Bengali being the second spoken language of London uh, after English in London the second big the biggest language that's spoken uh, in any community is Bengali and with the Boshiki Mellas that happened with the biggest Massive. turnover uh, biggest Brilliant. amount of people coming to the events um, five or six channels that are um, established here yeah. um, and a lot of the uh, a lot of the uh, events that happen, quite grand, grand scale. I'm quite proud. I'm very proud of. Hey, Masha, you want yeah. to? Uh, I um, said when you invited me to um, uh, do uh, the Mendy and Saab tribute. It was actually a friend of both of ours, a friend of yours and I was uh, Yamin Bhai, good tabla player. Hopefully, we'll bring him here one day. And uh, I said there, I'm saying now, I said after that many times as well, that Mendy Saab was never only a Pakistani um, artist. He belonged to everybody. And the Bangladeshi community, I watched all the channels, they were doing uh, it shows yeah, for Mehdi yeah. Saab. Especially in Bangladesh. Uh, in Bangladesh, all the channels were actually covering his death and then his life as as any music-loving country. Um, Anybody. As with any artist who's, who's passed away from India or Pakistan, they would do. Um, they, uh, they but would it's, do. it's fascinating to see yeah. another community which loved him. Um, and again, why I'm touching on the point is you met Mehdi Saab and we done a tribute on television for Mehdi Saab as well. Yeah. And that, that must have been a, a, a great honor and bahut achhi baat thi. Mehdi Saab ki ghazlein bhi aap gaati hain bahut achhi. Ranjishi hai sahi. I know what's coming. Nahi, mein to, mein chaa raha tha ki ek duet bhi hum karenge. Mujhe ekse wo pasand tha, wo jo hum kathe karte the, the harmonies. Yes, yes. Jab koi pyaar se bulayega and saamne aake tujh ko bukara nahi. Lekin, I think we're the only, as far as I know, we've done a duet on any of his work together in London. No, we, and it was quite appreciated. Very much appreciated because you know the industry, I know the industry. And you know, it's nice to know ke, you know, you sing these songs well. Do you think we should do a live? A good live ka hona chahiye ki kuch recorded dikha na. Yeah, no, we can, we can, we can go live. So, apki marzi pe then the harmoniums in front of you. Ap, ap jaane harmonium jaane. Because in the backdrop we can see you singing live, and I think many people want to hear you sing live as well. So, Madhi sir, apka gaale ki apni, apni jo apka dil kare. This is yours. Apka jo dil kare, ap gaiye. Okay. Yeah. Um, Madhi has the number. कहिए खबरदार नजात कैसा लगा सुजाना जी का ये गाना मुझे तो बहुत पसंद है मैं तो लाइव कई दफा इनके पास बैठ के सीखता हूँ बांग्ला गाने भी बहुत सिखा रही हूँ Actually I would like you to sing two lines of the बांग्ला तो You asked me to sing Well I would like to ladies and gentlemen this is Raja Kashif who will be singing a few lines of a song अच्छा मैं काम करता हूँ हारमोनियम आपके लिए छोड़ता हूँ ये वाला � um, I mean, you can tell the history about the show. Should I say this now or should I later? No, no, tell the history about the show. About the song. This song is written by myself. The composition is by myself. And it was for my album that was released on the label G-Series in Bangladesh, one of the top labels in Bangladesh. And yes, it's in English and Bengali. And Raja, take it away. I'm going to sing it. Okay, now I'm going to clear on air. My pronunciation was bad that day. It's... Your pronunciation is very good. No, but it's Kamon. K. Kemon. Kemon. No, no, say Kemon. Kemon. That's it. Huh. 
কেমন ভালোবাসা তোমার দুঃখ কি করে দিলে বললে আমি ডালিং তোমার তো আঘাত কিভাবে দিলে কেমন ভালোবাসা তোমার দুঃখ কি করে দিলে বললে আমি ডালিং তোমার তো আঘাত কিভাবে দিলে কত নিষ্ঠুর তুমি হতে পারলে তুমি একবারও কেন ভাবলে না ডিড ইউ থিঙ্ক দ্যাট আই উড নেভার ফাইন্ড আউট কেমন ভালোবাসা তোমার দুঃখ কি করে দিলে বললে আমি ডালিং তোমার তো আঘাত কিভাবে দিলে কেমন ভালোবাসা তোমার I think that was the first act that I bought to you when I when I spoke to you. I'd done Maria, I'd done the video and I called you for a track, Mehavisha. Yes. And even knowing each other for 10 years, uh, bumping into each other occasionally at shows or events, um, then this this track I made, Mehavisha. Mehavisha, Farsi ka lafza, beautiful. Mehavisha, Maharu, Mehajabi. So, these are all loves that we have used. Um, I had a vision in my mind when I made this that I wanted to sing it with somebody and I, I was looking for somebody in the UK, it didn't work out, I sang with many people in India but I was, I was frustrated. I didn't get a girl who could sing with me with me. I found you um, late in the afternoon. Mm, December. And you didn't want to come down because it was too cold. <laughs> yeah. And But uh, like in the end you came down. There was a bit of a scale issue. Because obviously I didn't compose keeping you in, bearing yeah, you in mind. Yeah, and, and, and that particular scale you sang higher I than usual. Very high than usual. But um, when, it was on the day that you'd actually called me, is the day we actually we recorded. recorded. We recorded. And um, I have complete faith in you. As, I don't know if the audience know, I mean, as good a singer you are, you're a fantastic composer. And you really understand uh, whoever you're <coughs> recording, whoever you're working with, you can tailor make any song, you can even change the song. I've never really seen that done. Um, I don't know if I should, I will share with everybody. <laughs> what you do, what Raja does on um, in a studio session is if there's a, a part of a song that um, the artist perhaps can't sing a, a portion uh, due to scale um, scale issues or whatever he he immediately changes the melody and um i mean he's um his um on the spot ideas are he's amazing S- spontaneous and instinctive and um I, i knew immediately you texted me i said to you but i listened to the song and i said to you rajaji <laughs> this song um the scale the the part you want me to sing is far too high for yeah. any woman it's out of a it's woman's true. scale it's uh, and very high yeah even higher For, um, yeah. For, for so, amazing, um, yeah. yeah, and you said to me th- um, in a text, it would be one of three things, harmonies, counter melody or lower octave. And we used a combination of all those three all and, it, and it's, uh, the product is really very good. Well, see, the beauty of working with an artist like you was that you were easy to, uh, you know, your voice adapted to all the situations that we were talk to, talked about. And as and more that I've been working with you, I've realized that, you know, I can mold your voice very easily. You're, you're actually like, just like a child doesn't do that. So you can mold a kid. You can't make, you know, like they normally say you can't teach an older person <laughs> new tricks. Um, but, you know, you're, you're, very, you're very much in that. That's a good thing about you. And that's because of your classical training. 
अगर वो ना होती तो वो प्रॉब्लम हो जाती आई लर्न मेनी थिंग्स फ्रॉम यू यू नो सिटिंग इन द स्टूडियो समटाइम्स वी डू बिकॉज़ यू नो सो मच अबाउट अ लॉट ऑफ स्टफ दैट आई डोंट नो अबाउट um um you have um amazing studio um recording experience i have a lot of live experience and i've yes. learned a lot from my ustads uh, traditional training wise bandishes um, classical yeah, stuff what yeah, come on uh, live performances and stuff maybe i could uh, dig out some old footage of me doing actually i, I will should, we have to show I, something i'll show some we can you know okay, uh, uh, if you if, if you know off the top of your head we're going to carry on with mehavish and some old, um some um, Bo- private collection footage of a classical event that i can would, actually would you like to yeah sure to the announce card okay um this is um cuz i grew up uh, learning classical music i used to perform a lot at a um, organization called vikas vocal indian classical appreciation society and here's a small clip of me as a 13 or 14 year old singing a bandish on the tanpura are wah tanpura pe um that was just an old footage of um that's a 90s video but um so yeah that, a lot of that training um i can use now when i work with people like yourself so when we were, when we were working on the song mehvasha um you'd ask me um to actually write something um um in, in you you ask me in language well when i've worked with other producers uh, such as state of bengal um he was um mainstream the whole talvin singh yes. the whole anorka he asked me not lyric wise besides lyric wise he said write a melody and um it was in english it was in many many languages so i actually pluck from my training i i wrote it in rag malkush if you listen to his drum and bass track it plays in all the clubs you'll never realize only listen to the notation it's rag malkush but um similarly with you when you said to me this is a section write something i just stuck some bengali in, in there and well, actually i i was fascinated at that time when you i remember that when you picked up the words tumi umar college ha college you said this is a word that is actually um amongst the youngsters it was in college well um, these are words um there's two things here the words are very easy for non bengali to understand because if you change the accent it's actually hindi so the college college ha amra boli college ha tumi amar college and it's college tumi amar kobita which is kavita poem um and all of it moina shona moina ta pyara loves and it's how you address your lover True. and so it was quite generic so it's not so difficult for somebody who's non bengali to pick up because mm. that's also important that i think that's what the track has done and also i remember you saying few days back we were i think having a, a latte together jaise chai khatam ho gayi chai chai ko chai la de please chai chai agar eric chai la do na yaar please thank you so anyway um uh latte latte ki baat kar rahe the and you said yeah, you didn't make anything sun sun sargam saso ki sargam you ask me that's not your style vakya is not my style um i done that song in a bit of in frustration a bit of anger uh artists go through that when a lot of friends and your your colleagues are saying to you yaar kuch commercial karo kuch hit nahi ho raha wo dhak ch dhak ch main ke nahi yaar dhak ch dhak ch nahi karna sur wahi rakhna hai maine i'm going to do something different my music has always been very um uh, i i i talk about my music being progressive it's not a lot of people say it's filmy it's old no it's progressive music i i stick to my chords i stick to my culture um like uh, i think you'll 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 understand this and everybody uh, listening to this uh, program as well the person who wants to conduct an orchestra has to have his back to the audience so yeah. i have my back to the audience in the way that even if they're saying something to me i'm not listening because i want to get the best out and then i'm going to turn and bow and you know then ask now aap mujhe bataye ki maine kya karna brilliant because i've heard a lot of your work and um even working together a lot of the tracks that you're making me sing one song is so different to another one um and i you know complete trust in you as well that something good is going to happen and you know each each song is very very different but you're very into melodies and you're you have a very um distinct sound so when you do make a out of the blue a mehvasha or something different uh, you have it within you that's one thing uh, that you need to be um, it's a compliment to you definitely and to your everything that um, you actually know how to make a commercial track though it's not naturally what you're what you're instinctively what you instinctively want to do but you're very you can do do it i'm going to ask you when did you how old were you how young were you how did it all start um still in school 
um, secondary school secondary school this when it sort of just triggered off 1992 when it triggered off completely but before that i was doing a bit of uh, religious uh, mehfils in uh, um masjid mein ja ke naat wagaira padhta tha mm-hmm. um I remember my dad always used to be channel 4 ki kuch recordings lagti thi us zamane mein nayi zindagi nayi jeevan so he used to have recordings of all the artists my dad used to say something yaar if you want to do this properly go and learn isko seekh ke karo and i did um, i started um, in school i used to see the piano i just start, just start playing myself did you have any um, um, relatives who are musical or parents oh i think the only my mom and dad uh, my mom naat padhti hai i heard that my my dada ji used to also um you know have uh, not padte the lekin uh, my my father used to like music to a, a very uh, a good a good level he is a writer as well mm-hmm. he had a circle of musician friends that he used to sit and who used to write for and the only reason he used to write because he knew urdu right. in those days like i know many people working who worked in bollywood in the 60s 70s used to get their jobs uh, in the industry because they knew urdu mm. so that's why my dad actually was had had good musical circle so hum kehte hote hain ki talaffuz pronunciation bahut important hai mm-hmm. like you yeah, you, you yeah, yeah. bangla you yeah. you you saying yeah isko theek karo isko uh. aise karo you won't be appreciated in india pakistan or bangladesh if your pronunciation is 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 totally yeah. wrong yeah. slightly yeah. you'll be appreciated mm-hmm. depends who you are so anyway uh, wo ho gaya ho gaya karte karte imran khan uh, cancer appeal was the main turning point i i sang chaudhri ka chand was my first ever track that i sang with imran khan sir present yes, yes. in my I've school seen, yeah so usme ye tha ke um, we raised some money for him and uh, it was just a breakthrough from there maine gaya local radio <coughs> station picked me up to radio station ke baad you know i just met so many people i met pyare lal ji lakshmi kant ji everybody ravi ji mere ustad so something that i face um coming well being british i'm british i was born and brought up here my parents are established mm. here but then going back to bangladesh i i until the age of 21 or 22 i'd only been to bangladesh maybe five or six times that too on family holidays <coughs> but when i started going in the last two years i've been about 10 times going for work being flown out for musical dramas. projects or dramas or i work for the bbc in um bangladesh i do a lot of english uh, dramas that they air in that uh, continent um Uh, finding how do you find the the musical industry the, the environment be it politics or the way people is receive you how how was your journey it it was difficult um in the way that uh, i think the only strong point i had when i entered into the pakistan industry it's, it it it's devastating the industry doesn't actually welcome you with open hands they say you know bombay will welcome you open hands no you have to work for it aapko kaam karna padega you have to prove and imagine that there's you you're in a jungle and there's lions and tigers and and elephants and everything there you big big you know fish there well they're not fish in a jungle but anyway <laughs> yes. anyway um the baat ye hai ke i worked i had one uh, i would say it was a weapon for me um and that was the notation my notation my my violin and my notation helped me because that's a universal language mm-hmm. so my entry everywhere was very easy in that way um then my singing and my my odd beats of rhythm like wo jo gana that we've done together mm-hmm. it's all off beat 1 2 3 4 sun sun sargam saasuki sargam hum tum ho gum ishq mein hum dum sun sun sargam saasuki sargam hum tum ho gum ishq mein hum dum sara off beat yeah. ना 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 मजा आ रहा था ना yeah. फिर दोबारा करते जादू भरी नजरों ने जाने क्या कर दिया मीठी मीठी बातों ने इस दिल को छू लिया धीरे धीरे आंखों से इस दिल में तू समा ना 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 महवशा महवशा महलका महलका माहरु 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 एनीवे ये था दिस इज अ सॉन्ग इट्स कमिंग इट्स कमिंग वेरी सून विद अ वीडियो वीडियोस देयर आई डू वांट टू शो बिट्स ऑफ द वीडियो बट आई थिंक वी शो आसमा ये बाद में दिखाएंगे लेकिन बहुत अच्छी एक चीज है आपके देखने लायक है आप पसंद करेंगे इसको और 
गाने से पहले बहुत बहुत टॉकिंग बात We were talking about many many things. We were talking about your rise and your um, um ah, offbeat notation. We were talking about this. Anyway, करते करते my uh-huh. my rhythm sense worked, yeah. and uh, when I done uh, because I play a little bit of tabla and drums and a few other things, uh, percussion instruments. So, its benefit was that I went and done experimental music yeah. with with good artists, Alka Yagnik ji, Anuradha ji uh, from Bombay, Adnan bhai ke saath baat kam. He supported me a lot. Then Chichi bhai ne baat support kiya, Govinda ji ne various actors supported me. So, usme the major breakthrough I got was with Dev Sab, mm-hmm. Devanand Sab. Uh, yes, uh, charge sheet. Charge sheet. Um, I'm, I'm sure everyone's had fantastic song you've done there with Shankar Mah- Mahadevan. Beautiful song. A lot of my best friends. That's all they listen to. They all they listen to. Our best friends. Um, yes, our best yeah, friends. Our best friend. <laughs> But um, <laughs> yeah, brilliant. And uh, no, that that was a turning point because I had a very big director, uh, a legendary director. um who 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 just picked me out and said idra ye kaam karo mm-hmm. and then i had um, the, again the choice of the singer was mine as well i didn't i didn't be main lalchi nahi hua ke i would sing myself it wasn't my style of singing so i got a a person who style of singing it was shankar mahadevan ke sath kiya so um ye ye sari cheeze helped me mm-hmm. that it was hard to get there mujhe wo chance milte milte bahut der hui lekin likewise you you must have faced uh, many many Um, uh, I had the hurdles more so um, here in this country because because I was a child politics, star. I was a child star. Um, I came. I did the BBC when I was three or four years old. I'd uh, come through from a lot of the Asian song competitions, and I came from there. And then my first television um, performances were on ZTV on mm. Sare Gama, uh, hosted by Sonu Nigam and Antakshari Anuj Kapoor's program. And that's where I was seen first on ZTV when I was doing my work with them. Do, do you mind if I just ask a quick question? Uh huh. So. खबरी मजाद इन्होंने कुछ ऐसे सिंगरों के नाम लिए हैं अभी जिनके साथ हिंदुस्तान में बहुत सारे सिंगर्स के साथ इनकी अच्छी एक फ्रेंडशिप है अच्छा काम किया है इन्होंने गुलाम अली साहब वज प्रेजेंट दे जजीज साहब फरीदा खानम जी सोनू निगम हु यू स्टिल गुड फ्रेंड्स विद एंड यू नो दिस टू टू गेट अ I, like I was that. very lucky because I was just a teenager. I barely made it through to the auditions because of my age. I was the youngest by 15 years, or in the competition, and I came second. On oh, Anandakshri, and I was young. Uh, yeah, the young second youngest person was 15 years older than me, mm. and um, yeah, and I didn't know enough Hindi. I didn't know enough Bengali. I just knew English, and I was straight out of private school. I have no idea. But I ha- again, like you had your strength, your notation. I had yes. my rags, raginis, my my knowledge, and the private school. <laughs> no, you know what you and know. What, schooling, no, no, right? You know what? Yes, I come <laughs> from a very different kind of like a non-Asian kind of upbringing, where I live in the suburbs, and I, there was no Asians in my school as much as sure. um, other areas. As a result, um, I wasn't um, integrated into that society as such. So to then be doing just because of my training and my. you know my practice hmm. indian classical music my mother my mother's very musical my cultural family back home as well cultural family um that pulled me through so yeah when i do face certain strange it, it okay. was here because i was a child star a lot of the established el- uh, older stars wouldn't accept me after i hit after That's i hit 18 thing. they, they wouldn't it. let me sing in the adult uh, section they they were just like you're a bachcha singer in the baby section. section do not grow up <laughs> don't look nice and don't sing don't play instrument don't be trained but then it was just letting them no no i'm big now let me sing two songs let me sing my own choice. songs no i don't want to sing a baby song i want to sing a adult song you know song. and then um and in bangladesh what happened because i really i have a band called kansa with my brother saeed imran and yamin who you mentioned we have a band and when we released our album in bangladesh that was difficult because we had no links if anything they were all school friends everyone was british born nobody has any knowledge of how so it works very and to walk in from from and imran's in pakistani he's of pakistan background um his parents so to not know anybody and to go and have a release within the next month from g series that opened up a lot of doors a lot of drums and a lot of things good ek uh, wh- why i mentioned uh, the private schooling there um and the only reason was that it, and you actually covered it like your mum and everybody is education she was giving you education of music and everything before and dev saab se mai ek baat seekhta tha dev saab ne kaha ki education and this is a message which can go via this uh, this program that we're doing ke music karo but education is a must aapki education will just make you a person for 
for you know the, the world that you're going to face. Similar to you, how because um, we were doing music outside of school, we yes. did. You've done school assembly. I've done school assembly, and You've all done everyone's it. huh? You know, I and I've taken it. my harmonium into school, and I've done something. I've done that. Oh, well. yeah, I, I know. I, I, I know, know the first time I done We've, done, we've done very similar stuff in our prospective schools we have, and, we have. and our and our upbringing. Okay, एक गाना मैं आपको dedicate करना चाहूँ. Okay. अगर आप इजाजत दें तो मुझे एक सुर दे दें चूँकि when we're going to play the song, I want the sort to match. Okay. तो आपको ये वाला आप सुन मुझे जिस ये हल्के से मुझे देना बस इतना अब इन्हें मुझे निकलाएं द वीडियो इस ओके सो दोनों कैमरे में देखते ये वाला कहीं खो ना जाए तो दिल ये करे खो जाओ तेरी निगाहों में तेरी पनाहों में दिल ये करे बाकी गाना अब लाइव लाइव नहीं लाइव तो देख लिया अब रिकॉर्डिंग में देखे खो जाओ तेरी निगाहों में तेरी तनाहों में दिल ये करे खो जाओ तेरी निगाहों में तेरी पनाहों में दिल ये करे प्यार में फना मेरे दोनों जहां कहीं खो न जाए तू दिल ये डरे खो जाऊं तेरी निगाहों में तेरी पनाहों में दिल ये करे एक मेहदी साहब की चूंकि बात हुई है तो ये गीत ड्यूएट में शायद आपने पहले नहीं सुना होगा तो एज ए ड्यूएट हम इसको हाँ। करते हैं अच्छा लगता है और आपने भी पहली दफा सुना था जब मैं गा रहा था माय मदर वाज हैप्पी व्हेन यू सिंगिंग शी ग्रो अप ऑन इट गाना है सामने आके तुझको पुकारा नहीं सामने आके तुझको कहानी तेरी मुझसे लोगों ने पूछे कहानी तेरी क्या बताऊं मैं उनको निशानी तेरी तेरे चेहरे से पर्दा उतारा नहीं तेरे चेहरे से पर्दा उतारा नहीं तेरी रसवाई मुझको गवारा नहीं सामने आके तुझको पुकारा नहीं तेरी रसवाई मुझको गवारा नहीं तेरी रसवाई मुझको गवारा नहीं तेरी रसवाई मुझको गवारा नहीं
ना तेरे प्यार में 